are y'all doing? Hmm. Are we live here? Yeah, it looks like we're live. Hi there. Howdy, yes. Howdy again. I am live, yes. Cool, yeah, just messing with my phone here. Mm-hmm. Cool, yeah, welcome everybody. I'm on a uh, new monitor here, and the colors are very slightly different. It's good, though. The colors are good. I like all the colors. Cool. Yeah, welcome, everybody. It is Wad Wednesday, and once again, as always, it's time to pick some random Doom levels and play them. And yeah, I guess this is the last one of this February. Into the Depths Below by Zillow Zio. Hmm. Uh, yeah. This is from 2019. MMO3. What would that be? Modest Maps 27, 31, and 32. Modest. Okay, so this is, yeah. Modest Map 03. A Cavern's Dank Depths. A very good map with some twists and turn and death. Let the imps let the imps be. If if only I could do that. If only I could let the imps be. Well, cool. Uh, yeah, this seems pretty modern. So I'm sort of expecting, you know, yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's jump into it. Into the depths below. Modest map 03 by Zillow Zio. It's Doom 2 map three. No, I thought I had fixed this. Uh, actually, can I get a... Uh, oh, I forget. I apologize for this. I thought I had. I thought I had fixed that bug that was causing the launcher to crash. Nope, can't type. Nope. I can't even remember where, uh... oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it says that we picked that thing. Oh God, okay, all right, well. All right, well, yeah, we are not getting the map that I picked there because this thing crashed. And actually, I guess I could load it up uh, in, the, in the thing. Well, let's, uh, do, uh, okay, this is a different speed mapping session thing. And yeah, this is from 2013, uh, Abyssal Speed Mapping Sessions, Session 8. Authors, Obsidian, Mugsy, The Myonic Donut, Oh, it's uh, it's it's Jazz Mickle. Oh, sweet, we're playing a we're playing a jazz map. 
Oh man, okay, yeah, Jazz Mickle, uh, multi-talented game creator and musician and just all around cool creative person. Um, well, cool, yeah, I, I don't think we've played anything by her or, yeah, I mean, okay, anyway, cool. Yeah, let's jump into Abyssal Speed Mapping Session, Session 8, Obsidian. Uh, cool, yeah, maps one through five, and I assume that maybe the fourth one is Jazz's. Uh, but yeah, I'm guessing that all of these will be great. So yeah, let's jump in and play this junk. Eight. Very dramatic. All right, I'm pretty sure these were... Okay. Oh, geez, the uh, the goofy gnome theme that I'm using has a big thick border around it. Hope that, hope that isn't too horrible. All right. So yeah, we're in Wolfenstein land here. Man, the uh, the ambient occlusion is really doing a number on these uh, textures. All right, yep, just pretty standard Wolfenstein, Wolfendoom type stuff. I don't recognize this track that's playing, but. Red Skull Hitler thing, the Hitler key, and uh, did I see a... We got some got some tougher monsters piling in now. They're having a tussle. I don't know why I'm I'm doing the infighting game. There we go. There we go. Y'all get a piece. Uh, can I come and do it from this direction? I can. All right, this Baron, this Hell Knight is just making a lot of enemies today. All right. Cool, okay. Oh yeah, this seems like a pretty normal Wolfenstein type map. Which is actually a good choice for a speed mapping thing now that I think about it, because if you just want to focus on a certain kind of fundamentals, Wolfenstein definitely removes a lot of a lot of choices from you. Here. Oh man. I think that was the first damage that I took of this map. It's actually a pretty good little fighting room. It's very basic, but. Pretty, pretty good little fighting arena for a cyber demon. All right, cool. Just trying to see if I could one credit that guy. 
Uh, cool. Yeah, all right. Oh, there were some demons hiding here. They were just snoozing all through that big fight with the cyber demon. And is this the... Okay, yeah, that's the exit. All right, cool. That was... What was it called? Duman... I can't see it behind the chat thing. Okay, so that is... Lupo Accaccio by Walter Confellerioni. I, I forget the yeah pronunciation there, but yeah. Okay, so this is another this is another Wolf and Doom map. Whoa, look at that! That's certainly a trick that you can do with panning textures and Doom. Oh my God, there's so many. So many of these stinking nazies. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. That's this is this is a cool like playing on something that we already that, you know, if you're familiar with this texture, it's like the the jail bars in the blue Wolfenstein dungeon thing. And then to see them like bent aside like this with complete darkness beyond, that's a really good oh geez. All right, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna explore further here and oh great! Troublesome. I got a little light, a little bit of lighting going on here. Need a red key. All right, I'll bet I know where the where to find the red key. Seeing outside into a doom sky. All right, yeah. Like I wanted to. Okay, yeah. What is in here? Is this just like a little? Yeah, I think that's just a little. It's the. It's just a little jail cell. come back up. All right, there it is. There's the red skull key. So yeah, I don't know what the constraints of this mapping jam of the speed mapping thing were. I mean, I I don't know if it if it is explicitly Wolfenstein focused or if two of these authors just chose to do wolf stuff, but good to see fire blue as always. Oh geez, I don't know what's going on here, but it's probably gonna suck. Hmm. Okay, I heard that Cyber Demon teleport like that's Cyber Demon like aggroed and then teleported away. Oh geez. Oh geez. Okay. Hear that cyber demon breathing down my neck. Yeah, so in that case, you really don't have much of a choice other than to just. Uh... Cool. Okay. Uh, cold -a cold -a sack of utter bastards by Obsidian. Okay. All right. Now we're back in familiar Doom territory here. I don't know if that's a play on Circle of Death or I don't even know. It is sort of reminiscent of like the Earth, the Earth maps from Doom 2, but I don't know. Uh...
Oh, cool. There's an arch file in there. Okay. What are we here in here? Let's see. Secret platformy thing. Sure, it was moving up and down. Oh, I see. Well, I don't need those health kits yet, so maybe I'll come back. All right, buddy. Pretty nervous just having rocket ammo for obvious reasons. All right, didn't do too bad there. Uh, yeah, this is cool. This is like, it's a city theme pretty obviously with somewhat basic geo, but I like the way that it looks. And yeah, there's that fire blue again. Maybe that was one of the constraints of this uh, mapping session. You gotta have fire blue somewhere in there. Oh, jeez. Naughty, naughty arch file. All right, just bits. <laughs> jeez, just, yeah. Oh, jeez, okay. Hey there. Hey there, instant teleporting spider. Okay, well, that wasn't... If there was a smarter way to do that, I did not caught into it. Oh, geez. All right, so I got a Berserk power-up. Oh, my gosh. Hmm, okay. All right, sounds like... Yeah, this cyber demon really wants to kill me. All right. Let's... Oh, jeez. No, don't don't come over here. Don't come over here my spot. Okay. Whew. Okay. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was, uh, that was a cool little fight. Yeah. I like the way that that unfolded. And yeah, like it's just it's cramped enough that like there was some real tension fighting the uh, the cyber demon. Uh, yeah, and stuff is starting to get kind of bio here. Once again, hearing hearing something lowering, hearing a lift going down that we don't necessarily know what it does. And what does this do? Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, there's there's a red key. Ooh, some got some spaghetti guts going on down here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, did something open up? I didn't see an obvious place for a red key usage, but... Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is just like a full double back. And yeah, the level has changed. Like these monster closets that have... So it's like a... It's like a layer of hell stuff being revealed. Hell revealed, if you will. And, uh, yeah, cool. Oh, jeez. What just happened? Just, just gonna keep... Okay. So as soon as I hit that switch, things gonna pop open. He's gonna teleport. All right, now we got a lot more shotgun ammo to work with, but we know that that cyber demon is on is at large. These maps. One unifying thing with these maps is that they've. They've all done a cool thing of like introducing a threat, but you don't fight it just yet, and so you but you know it's coming. That's cool. Uh, okay, so I hit this switch in here. The old sunglasses skeleton mega death switch, as I always mentally think of it. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well. Yeah, if I double back, where do I... Yeah, this hasn't been like a super double back intensive thing, but I actually don't know where to go now. I can go up here and... Aha! Oh, jeez. Okay. These rowdy boys are... And yeah, they close that distance. Uh, okay, wait, how do we get back? Yeah, all right. Hmm, I see a way out. But what do we have to do to actually get out? It's this little chamber with the dead cacos. Huh. This feels like it's like the end of the level. But I don't know. Maybe it ain't? Aha. There we go. Oh dear, okay. There is our buddy, the cyber demon. Oh, wow, and... Wait, I didn't catch that. Like, we were on our way out. Let's try this again. I actually want to be able to appreciate this. <clears throat> All right, so if I stick around and fight, yeah, I guess. All right, yeah, it's just a big f fight between some cacos and cyber demon. All right, well, I will jump in this river <clears throat> and bid farewell to the cul-de-sac of utter bastards by Obsidian. And here we go. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is this is Jazz's uh, map. Um, J. Mickle's awful baking yesterday's sandwich. I don't know what that is in reference to, but whatever it is, I'm excited. Okay. Wow, this is already quite some fancy dancing here. All right. Uh, can I hide in here? Oh, dear. All right. I have a bunch of plasma saved up. 
I don't know if these maps were meant to all run from pistol start. If so, pardon my cheesing my way past this, but yeah, it's a really tight area that we've got to uh, to fight in here. Some pretty nasty ranged enemies, but and yeah, there's a spider in the next next room over, just trying to hammer us. So it's kind of an episode four or like Plutonia sort of feel as far as like there's a lot of threats and it and you're just kind of trying to like manage manage your exposure to them. Okay, yeah, these cool texture these textures are cool and Jazz has definitely done a bunch of cool custom texture work over the years. So I don't know if these are ones that she made for this map thing or. Or what, but okay, cool. All right, ooh, yeah, and there's like this whole little cave beyond it. Yeah, a lot of her work that I've played has like this industrial kind of feel to it, you know, like it makes heavy use of like metal textures and like the you know, the yellow stripe caution hazmat stuff. I'm bad. I'm very bad at shooting this skeleton. Ooh, fancy elevator. All right, so this is going to carry us up, and then we can jump onto this little doom jumping puzzle for you there. Oh, oh, that created a little bridge. Woo! All right, now we can get up here and get the red key. Yeah, no, yeah, that's right. I, we have seen all three types of keys here, so... I was wondering if there was a restriction around that. Oh, yeah, look at that. We gotta go around... And here, okay, yeah. <laughs> that is... That is a rude cyber demon right there. Very nice. Okay. What do I do? I mean, if I had the BFG, I could maybe, yeah, like, all right, so there's like three switches there. Yeah, I mean, I can get those two fighting. I think that's probably my best bet. not have a big margin for error in this. Okay. All right. And that was it. Uh, let's see. What is this? Puta's on parade. Okay. That's, that's rude. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is like, it's just an all out murder arena and me with no armor is this mini that we're hearing St. James Infirmary the old like Cab Calloway track I, I can't even hear because This is brutal. Yeah, it could be St. James Infirmary or it could be Mini the Moocher. I'm not super familiar with. Yeah, St. James Infirmary I'm familiar with because there was that Betty Boop cartoon that is like one of the most wildly surreal pieces of animation of its era 
where like this skeleton guy like turns himself inside out or something it's wild like you've you've probably seen it in like a gif or something before and it was done partly i think to like rotoscoped footage of someone just like dancing and it's different yeah and it's got like yeah the saint james infirmary song playing oh my gosh this is just brutal there's like a there's like a bunch of like rapid fire hit scanners just shooting you all at once here this is so brutal all right i am going to try to be methodical about this which may just be a total mistake but God, and there's there's chain gunners down there as well. This is just ruthless. No. All right, I'm hanging on here. I got 27 health. And yeah. And I guess I could also try to like just take out take out the old spider here. Great foothold from which to do that. Ugh. Yeah, I have like this little scrap of cover. And yeah, she can hit me pretty much. Yeah, my best bet might be this this peekaboo garbage, which, you know. That's pretty much, you know, I mean the spider mastermind does frequently, like, because once she she has a long spin up to attacking. But then when she once she does start firing, the damage comes really really hard so you know it, it does kind of spider masterminds do kind of create peekaboo scenarios like that where where wherever they're even remotely supported and then that mancubus tags me. Okay. Okay. All right. We're doing okay here. Okay. more monsters behind there. Need a yellow key. Need a blue key. What does that do? Aha. Oh, jeez. Why did I fall off? What happened? I'm just gonna reload like that I hate to cheese this but okay let's hit that switch going to open up here. That's just scrolling. Did you get any keys out of that? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
up. That was a mistake. I should, uh, I should probably save so that I don't have to, to do that waiting again. Cacos. Oh, great. Oh, look at that. Archfile has a bunch of different warp positions. That is actually a that's a clever usage of the That's pretty devious. Any more? Okay. Well, it's taking some dying, but oh my god. All right. <laughs> there we go. There's definitely some tricks and traps type stuff going on here. <laughs> and I ran in and hit the switch and finished it. Cool. All right. Yeah. And then, yeah, now we're back in map six. And I made it with three health left. So, damn. Yeah. That sure was something. Uh, yeah, cool layout. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> well, that was... Uh, yeah, that was Abyssal Speed Mapping Sessions 8 by Obsidian, Muggsy, The Myonic Donut, Jazz Mickle, and Walter Confalonieri. I'm sorry, Confalonieri. Uh, yeah, awesome. I am happy to play. I'm happy to have played. Like, those were all great and, yeah, like, quite good for speed maps, you know? Like, they all had a nice small scope. Uh, yeah, good stuff. I enjoyed it. Cool. Additional credits to... Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, concept, Wolfenstein. Interesting. Okay, uh, Jazz did the music for her level. Grab your wallet. Uh, concept, Fortress of Mystery. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I've ever heard of... Yeah, I mean, I guess but those latter two... Uh, and yeah, that was Minnie the Moocher by Cab Calloway. Um, it's interesting that, yeah, like I guess maybe this there was like a grab bag of concepts and Fortress of Mystery was one of Wolfenstein, Warrens, and Fortress of Mystery were among them maybe. And so yeah, these two authors took Fortress of Mystery. Fortress of Mystery is a weird one because like it's, you know, it's considered really like this kind of the runt of the like you know, of the id maps, you know, like it's sort of considered like the lowest effort Sandy Peterson map. And it, it is kind of like a weird one to play, but I think those two maps definitely do a good job of like building something more real and substantial around that concept. 
So yeah, cool. It's it's yeah. I mean, anytime there's like a theme type thing, it's always really interesting to see how people think through it. You know, and it definitely makes sense why people use themes for uh, for speed mapping. Cool. Okay. Well, that was that. So yeah, we got 20 minutes here. Let's do another one. The Hall by Jim McCollum from 2004. You've teleported into the rear of yet another demonic stronghold. Intelligence reports there is a large hall within where many comrades have vanished. The final fate of your, of your orders bothered you. It said simply, lots of luck. Yes, this is a large wad, but it saves fine. Just don't add any more things to it. <laughs> so is this originally from... Was this originally on CompuServe, maybe? Because I'm seeing like, like email address CIS... And then two numbers. And this definitely seems like it might have been like a 94, an early days map. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah. Oh, it was uploaded by someone else. So, yeah, this this could well be a, uh, a 1994 map that was just, you know, that was off the CompuServe archives. Well, cool. Okay, yeah, let's play The Hall by Jim McCalm from 1994 or 5, but uploaded in 2004. I'm definitely hearing some custom music here. I don't recognize this track right away, but... Sounds pretty righteous. I hear the, I hear that ad lib, sound blaster guitar soloing. Uh, yeah, this is pretty dope. It's just tons of nauseating pink spaghetti. I mean that in a good way. Yeah, I want that shotgun. How do I get that shotgun? Yeah, what is this tune? Whoa. Okay, so there's like tons of... Oh. Alright, so just trying to get that shotgun, I... All right, that opened up that. So yeah, I'm, I'm making bad choices here, basically. Oh, jeez, and I can't I don't really have enough ammo to... Uh... Oh, okay, I'm just turning them off, so... Aha, there we go. Good, good. Okay, so now I've done that. It's just another monster hatch. Seen outside here. Uh, I mean, for if this is indeed a 94 map, it's, it's, it's quite well put together for one. Like this is a nice complex room shape and interesting shapes and texturing choices and yeah all right so like yeah yeah and these are all single use is this like a way forward or something not that i can tell aha okay this business opened up out back here. Oh my gosh, that's a long hallway. All right, let's just haul ass down this hallway. I may be making a really bad mistake here by just 
unleashing all of these monsters here, but... Cool, bunch of demons. Alright, looks like there was some infighting happening. Okay, yeah, and there's just... Alright, yeah, there's these big... Kakos hate that shotgunner in there. What is going on here? Oh, jeez. Yeah. This map is a beast. This is a tough situation. No, don't come in here. Oh, jeez, and am I just totally stuck here now? Sure, let's... Oh no, I missed the chainsaw. I made a run for the chainsaw, but I missed it. Oh my gosh. Okay. This just keeps unfolding. Look at that long-ass hallway. What does that do? Okay, that opens up a thing. Does this put me back in the big hallway? No. Alright, alright. Oh man, that Peaky got tagged by that trooper. He hates him, but he won't be able to do anything about him. Okay. Yep, that's some stuff that we can't get to or... I'm sure I'll take out these demons the boring way. Ooh wee. Hmm. Okay. Heck yeah. Okay. You're just... This map does a lot of, like, you can see into another... A whole other area. And it just expands your sense of, like, how how broadly this map sprawls. Hi, Cheese. Welcome. Yeah, this is the long, yeah, it's a long hallway. It's definitely the concept that this map is going with. 
yeah, I dig this. Like, this has, like, some real Episode 2 touches, but, like, it, it kind of looks better than a lot of, uh, than a lot of the stock Episode 2 maps. And, um, yeah, I dig it. Like, this has several different kinds of setups in it already, and... Okay, and there's there's a blue key that we can see but not get to. And yeah, what is this jazzy, this funky tune? It's possibly just because I've I've heard so many other midis of songs of theirs in Doom, but this this sounds like it could be Soundgarden, maybe? I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with, uh, with their full... with their discography to, uh... Yeah, they're doing the... Yeah, anytime an electric guitar does a note bend in FM synth MIDI, it's just... it's... you're gonna have one of two reactions. Some people will be disgusted, and other people will will do a tiny. Their their face will twitch ever so slightly with guitar face because you're like, yeah. It's just I don't know. Yeah, you had to be there, I guess. You had to be there. Okay, so like, yeah, I I did this that whole little area. That was a secret. Yeah, I'm like, where, where do I go next? I don't have a yellow key. I don't have any keys. I hear monsters back there. Nope. Okay. Yeah, there's that whole, there's a whole region in there. FM synth stock, yes, indeed. I guess I was there. All right, blue armor's good. Nope. Did I go through? Yeah, I think I must have. Uh... All right, so like, yeah, what? What's actually the deal here? Like, yeah, how do I get down into there? Oh, look at these jerks. Hmm. Yeah, it's all just kind of tightly knit together. Okay, so... Nope, that's not what we want. Let's go up here, and then... And I can see into this. Right, and then that puts me here, but... Nope. Yeah, just how do I get into there? It has windows into either of these, like, stairwell-type things. Go back this way and see, uh... just a dead end. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get through, can't get into there. That was that weird little slice. Yeah, weird progression. A switch on the wall halfway down that lift. Yeah, I mean, there's, there is that, but that's the same line segment, I think. Oh, look at that. Maybe this is a way forward. 
Or is it just a little dead end where Pinky was hanging out? Yeah, might have just been a little spot where Pinky was hanging out. Let me make absolutely sure of that. Yep. Dang. Hmm. 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 Is there like a little midpoint here? Like... Nope. All right. Figured, figured I had to try the wall hump. And then, yeah, we can see into this area here. Oh, wait. Are any of these shootable? Had to try. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I, I maybe see a way. I see one little bit that might be a... Uh, So like, huh, yeah, see, it seems like this would open up maybe, but I guess not. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Damn, all right, well, let's, let's zoom back out here. this door off to the left. No. All right, so that opens. Some sort of yellow key thing. Oh, right. Okay. I could see, I I could uh see into this area, but I couldn't get into it. That's right. Like, the blue key is in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a whole big outdoor area there. But yeah, maybe I didn't explore this place enough. Yeah, this 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 design really does a good job of like teasing you with things you want to get to but can't get to. There's a lot of that. Damn, yeah, what am I just what am I missing here? I'm kind of dreading that this is going to come down to a thing that you can interact with to ah, come on. Um, thing that you can interact with to, to open to like lower a lift or something, but it doesn't look like one of those normally does. Damn, yeah. Yeah, and that little thing there was a secret. There's a red key door down there. I mean, I feel like I have exhausted my options here. Uh, yeah, like... All right, let's head back out to the hallway here. Got a bunch of stuff that kind of looks interactive as well. I 
could go back in here. Is there any is there anything new going on in here? Doesn't look like. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's do the old ID behold. Okay, so maybe... I see something that could very easily just be a secret, but... Oh, actually there's multiple things that could be secrets, but... Okay, that's maybe a closet or something that's going to pop open. Yeah. Yeah, that's specifically what I wanted to check out. Oh, okay. All right, so what's this? What is this all about? I mean, is this crit path? Like, could this possibly be, like... Okay, it doesn't look like it. What did that do? Yeah, and like... Yeah, I think that just lowers the... Uh... Well, it woke this guy up, but... Okay, no, yeah, that just... Oh my gosh, wait a minute, though. Like, did this... Yeah, no, that doesn't... This looks like it connects to the whole red key wing of the map. That's the blue key area. Yeah, this all seems like pretty, pretty contained, really. Ugh. Okay, is that is that anything? Nope, just two shells. Well, damn, I I'm kind of at a loss here to. Uh, Yeah, I got nothing. All right, so like, yeah, we know where the blue key is. I can't tell if... Right, the crate room. I don't think there's anything. I mean, there, there's the there's the cells clearly, but like, hmm. Well, yeah. I apologize for this uh, this playthrough of a fairly enjoyable level, kind of grinding to a halt here. Oh my gosh, okay, well, that, this might just be, yeah, okay, I mean, that was a secret, but yeah, I don't think that has any further repercussions. Yeah, and yeah, that's seven out of seven secrets, so there's actually no more, uh, what am I missing here? I mean, I feel like by this point, I should have gotten, like, the red key or something. Where is the red key, anyway? The blue key is over there. Is 
that maybe the exit? The way that these... Okay, that's the yellow key. Okay, behind the red key is the yellow key. And behind the yellow key is probably the blue key. Maybe. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So yeah, where is the red key? Oh, I see. Right, and it's in there. So yeah, like how, what, what's the, like, how? Yeah. Like, how do we get in there? How do we get in there? All right, there's this whole situation. Yeah, it just seems like... It seems like exploring this whole area should have opened something up for us. Hmm. All right, you can see it. And we can get into... This almost seems like it might be like a compat thing. Like if this is an old map, you know, then maybe, I don't know. This definitely makes me wanna like open this up in the editor afterward and just go through the guts of it. There's a little ledge around the top above that slime. Is anything hiding up there? It doesn't look like it, but yeah, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good guess. Jazzy ass tune keeping us company. Well, damn. I mean, yeah, like it really seems like, yeah, like this opens, you know, and that we can drop down here or something. And then once, then once we're here, like, yeah, like we can get down here or something. Like, all right. Well, I think we're uh, we're probably about out of time. Yeah, yeah, we're it's after eight. So I think I'm gonna call it here, but um, this level is pretty cool. Like it's it's it it commits to that super long hallway, and you know does some interesting things. And like you know, it's 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 definitely above par visually and in terms of like challenge and you know and all that for uh, for its day, if it indeed it is from the old CompuServe days. But uh, yeah. Not bad, but it took a while to find the switch that opens the door to get the red key. The switch is in the hallway by the health bonus. Oh, thank you for looking that up. Well, cool. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can... Maybe that's the homework for, for tonight is, uh, is to... Yeah, that's... Yeah, one switch hidden. Okay, well, yeah, that was the hall. Okay, I, may, I now... That is the titu That was the titular hall that we were seeing that whole time. Uh, the hall by Jim McCalm from probably 94 or 95 uh yeah oh yeah and what is the what is the music new music the music is the best if you have a wave table add-on for your sound card what's the uh right but what's the oh uh oh cool okay so yeah uh Additional credits to John McColm for his hard work on the original music so yeah someone related to the author presumably made that uh made that music so yeah that's pretty great good that's awesome yeah very cool and yeah i recommend you listen to my relative's work on a on a cool ass gravis ultrasound or something like that well cool yeah that was good Th these were these were two good things that we played the hall by jim mccallum 
and Abyssal Speed Mapping Sessions from, yeah, 2013 uh, with some familiar faces. Cool. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. I will see if I can reproduce that, that bug with the launcher failing at the beginning. That's always embarrassing. But, uh, yeah, cool. I'll see you next time. Have a good week until then. And, yeah, enjoy some Doom or just enjoy life. Uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Thanks for watching, everybody.